you just all we really have to do is just say, hey, who's behind all of this stuff that's going on? We see what's going on on the surface, and we are we are you know chomping at the bit to jump on the black women who are out here. I mean, shaking and doing this and selling themselves and all like that. But wait a minute, they weren't born doing this. So who's really behind this? Hmm. And I'm always saying, anything that seems like it may be non-constructive that you see black people doing, immediately go to the usual suspects. That's what we do, and that's what I do. I say, wait a minute, this looks like something that the usual suspects has come up with. Almost anything that I see black people are doing has got a question mark on it. It doesn't even have to be something destructive. Hmm. But if it looks like it might be leading to something destructive, I always say, hey, let's check this out and see what the white supremacists have to do with this. Or if there are some white supremacists that have to do with it. Because the assumption should always be that anything that you see black people doing that may have a question mark behind it, always suspect that it's a plot by the white supremacists and be willing to say so to the whole world. Hmm. Always say, you know, and the term that you actually use, use exact terms, say, the usual suspects, just like in the movie Casablanca. Say, hey, this looks like something concocted by the usual suspects. But they'll say, what are you talking about, fella? Mm-hmm. Who are the usual suspects? The white supremacists. It looks like another one of their schemes. Oh, yeah, but you don't have any proof of that. No, I, I'm saying I suspect it. I don't have the proof. No. But I suspect it. Because it could be something destructive. Yeah, but it hasn't proven to be destructive so far. Yeah, so far. But I don't know what's going to happen when we turn around the corner. You know, the usual suspects always throw out some bait, just like catching a fish. Mm-hmm. They always throw black people something that looks like it's good on the surface. Right. And then 50 years later, it turns out to be totally something that's totally poisonous. Mm-hmm. And now we're 50 years behind wrestling with that poison. Anytime they come down the pike, you should have one thing in mind. We're talking about what to do about things now. When I see them coming, this is a part of the code. When you see people coming, I'm not talking about all white people, but when you see white people approaching you with anything, any kind of new fad, anything, any kind of something that's going to help you, always have in your mind, here they come, what are they up to now? That should be on every black person's lips on the entire planet. Here they come again. (laughs) What are they up to now? That should be your mindset. Right. Now, you'll have white people who say, oh, that's a terrible attitude to have. (laughs) No, it isn't. (laughs) Because if you're coming there to do something that's going to be constructive, we should be the first after it's proven to be constructive, after we're running through every type of test, and we're seeing, hey, this is really constructive. Mm-hmm. Hey, we should be the first to stand up and say, hey, we have to. We, we were suspicious of you, but that suspicion is gone because you have proven yourself to come with a constructive intent. Thank you.